Following these instructions, strong bonding can be ensured on substructures made from steel, concrete, wood, or GRP. For this demonstration, we will show the bonding process of a Fiberline Ultra Duty plank and a steel I-beam. We advise you to follow local health and safety regulations. To ensure durable and strong bonding connections, it is of high importance to pre-treat the steel. We recommend sandblasting the surface under controlled conditions. On smaller projects, angle grinder may be used. If bonded directly on coated surfaces like epoxy or galvanized, a detailed structural analysis must be provided by the design engineer. The bonded GRP elements must also be sanded with grid paper 6100. Working with products containing styrene requires particularly restrictive precautions. The surfaces must be cleaned for further process. Fiberline recommends using two-part epoxy adhesive for the bonding of GRP structures. For detailed properties of adhesive, see our Fabrication and Repair Manual. For the exact mixing relation of the two-part adhesive, see the manufacturer's instructions. Some adhesives may need treatment of the bonding area by a dedicated activator that must be applied before the adhesive. Do not mix more than you can process in the pot life of the adhesive. The adhesive must be applied on both surfaces to be bonded. The overall layer thickness is between 0.1 to 2 mm depending on the project. Some projects may require bonding in between planks. However, we will not cover this here. Most adhesives require equally distributed pressure. Apply pressure with sandbags or other means of distributed load. Excess adhesive can be cleaned with acetone or perpetually adhesive cleaning products. The curing time of the adhesive depends on the manufacturer, layer thickness and temperature. Make sure to read the technical datasheet or contact the manufacturer of the adhesive. When smaller loads need to be transferred, like on the connection between handrails and posts, adhesives can be used both with and without grinding the surfaces. The handrail is now ready to be installed. For more information on how to fabricate structures with GRP products, see our how-to videos. Fiberline. Create more with less.